What is up everybody and welcome to FLW Videos 2. In today's episode, we will be stepping inside Pokemon Let's Go and talking all about the Team Rocket hideout and everything that you need to do to get this done quickly. As for myself, when I try to go look online and watch YouTube videos of people just like kind of going through this, what I ended up finding was it was just people doing playthroughs and they didn't necessarily know what the most efficient route was. They were just trying to kind of figure it out and that takes a lot of time to just kind of like sift through that to get what you need. So this video is specifically for you if you are trying to figure out how can you do this as quickly as possible, the least amount of battles as possible, and you just want to at least know the most optimal route. So with that being said, if this is helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get in to the video. So the first thing that you will have to do is go into the game corner and notice that there is the poster on the wall. Go ahead and click on the poster and then go over to the hideout. If you are not seeing this and you have the guy in front of it and Jesse and James are not there, you need to go back to Lavender Town and go through the second floor so that the I guess sequence can be initiated and Cubone ends up fleeing to this area. At this point, once you start going down the steps, you want to actually go to the bottom most floor that you can go through and then you'll want to follow this sequence just like what I'm doing on screen. The goal of this is for us to go get the lift key which will be in kind of like the bottom area but we don't have access to it until we get all the way over to the far side of the Team Rocket hideout. So here is one of the first battles that you will have to do. By the way, there are going to be probably about three to four battles that you must do before you even get to the lift key. So once you go down these steps, we're then going to go into a new room. And if you go through here, there will be a person that you have to battle. This person will have the lift key and once you beat them, they will throw the lift key up there, which you will see at the top right of the screen. And so what we're going to have to do now is talk to this person They'll say there's no way for you to get a lift key. And I have to say, what comes next? Wow, this was such a good addition to the game. Definitely making it a little bit different. As you can see, it is pointing towards the ventilation system. But if you go up to the vents, you will see that you can't actually gain access to it. You're going to need something to stand on. So why not go ahead and take a look at that chair? That chair does seem like it's going to be the best option for you. I don't know if you could try something else. I highly doubt it. I thought, hey, maybe the trash can, but no, that wasn't it. It ended up being the chair. So go ahead and grab yourself that chair. And uh, once you do that, you're then going to have Eevee go through the ventilation system, like which, like I said, is pretty cool. This is where the lift key is. For those of you who are curious, it is not necessarily like red and blue and yellow that we had so long ago. So you will go through it. We'll be jumping over some pipes. I, I thought it would be cool if you could jump down into Giovanni's room, uh, but that is not the case. At this point, yeah, go ahead and take down the metal grate. You'll be walking on the pipes. It does kind of like those cut sequences quite a bit. Like I was thinking like, well, wait, what am I supposed to do right here? And it was kind of stopping me. You just have to press A and then it will go through the cut sequence. You'll climb across it. And then little Evie is going to save the day by going and grabbing the lift key off of the top of the wall. So there you have it. There is the lift key. That is part one. The next part is we have to gain the Sylph scope, which we will get to use in Lavender Tower. And we will get that from defeating Giovanni. So the next thing that you have to do is get to Giovanni. And what you'll do is you'll go to the elevator and make sure when you go to the elevator that you do not go to floor one. You need to go to the basement floor four. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and back this out and we'll show you how to get to the elevator from here. So that's the first floor of the basement. Now we're going down to the second floor. And this is kind of like the complicated part of it, but you can just follow along with what I'm doing. The end goal is we're trying to get to the far right corner of the room. So once we do that, we will be where the lift is so that we can go to the correct floor like I was talking about earlier. And to be honest, you know, this was... Uh, so hard to figure out as a kid when the games first came out like you know there's all these confusing things what the heck do you do and I remember going around in circles and stuff but now they pretty much kept it exactly the same so it is fairly easy of course I'm not going for all of the items because I want to show you exactly how to get through all of this so here is the lift that I was talking about only available in this back corner and then you will go to the basement four floor not basement one 
you'll go to four. One will just basically get you exited out. So when you go over here, you will go through a battle sequence with Jesse and James. I personally don't want to spoil it for you. I think the battle sequence stuff, you know, just kind of belongs on its own. So yes, you will go against both of them. And then once we defeat them, we are actually going to have to do two more battles. So if you do not have your Pokemon ready for this, I would highly recommend you to heal up, get yourself some potions, get yourself some revives, go into this strong because you have a three sequence battle uh, in a row. So yeah, once you defeat Jesse and James for the 10th time or however many times it is, you will then be going into Giovanni's office. In Giovanni's office, there's gonna be something new that we haven't really seen in the past, and that is actually another person that we will have to battle against. So yes, we will battle against him. Of course, you see the Cubone there that ran away from Lavender Town earlier. So yeah, you'll do the battle and then finally go up against Giovanni. But like what I said before, I don't want to spoil the battles. I want you to be able to have some fun and work on that on your own. But the point is, is that you have to get the lift key and you have to get the sylph scope. Once you get the sylph scope, you can now go back to Lavender Town. You can go to the top of the tower. You can talk to Mr. Fuji and then you can get yourself the Pokey Flute, which is what you need to advance later on in the game to get Snorlax up and out of that road, which I am so excited about doing the battle with Snorlax and crossing my finger that it is a shiny. So yes, we just defeated Giovanni. Now we are about to do, um, about to get the Sylph Scope. And I think it looks kind of cool. It looks like binoculars to be honest, but I mean, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, go ahead and grab that. And like I said, once you have done that, all you have to do is go back to the lift, go up to basement floor one, and then get out of the game corner and head back to Lavender Town. That's really going to be it. Hopefully this did help you. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon Let's Go content. And I will see you next time. I've got an urge to